Hey guys, Smart of Frame Person Peters, and today we have a video for you on a side by side from the P340 versus the P620 AutoCAD workstations from Lenovo. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Alright, guys, so this is the P340 from Lenovo. It's an AutoCAD workstation made for robust applications. Now, this particular model came configured with the i9 10900K. This is the 10 core uh, 20 thread processor and it comes with 16 gigs of RAM upgradable to 128 gigs if you need to go that high. For the video card, they went with the Quadro P2200. This is a five gig video card, nothing too crazy, and they have a terabyte NVMe at the bottom of it with the heatsink. If you're trying to upgrade this machine, you can go pretty, pretty high on RAM, you can also upgrade the video card, and you can add a second NVMe on it. Um, and you also have slots for hard drives if you plan on doing that as well. So. Alrighty guys, and this is the P620 AutoCAD workstation. This has a robust processor. This is the AMD Threadripper 3955WX, which is a 16 core, 32 threads. It's pretty, pretty powerful when you're doing uh, rendering. It does have 32 gigs of RAM, and it's upgradable up to 256 if you really want to go that high. It has currently a 512 NVMe, and you can upgrade it to the second one, as well as the RTX 4000 which is an eight gigabyte video card, and that should give you plenty of power when you're rendering and doing such high-end applications. So now we're gonna show you the side-by-side -side on both of them. Alrighty guys, so now that we have the side-by-side, -side, pretty much both of these are good machines for AutoCAD workstation. Uh, if you're gonna use something that robust, you, can my, you may as well get with the P620. Now this has the big boy processor. It has a threat ripper compared to the i9. Now, it's only a six core difference, um, but the threat is also pretty, pretty high on this one as well. You can spend a little bit more money on getting into this one, and you can upgrade much more RAM if you have to in the future. This is more of an entry level with the i9 and the P2200 to get you by through 3D uh, graphics and modeling and all that stuff. But if you're looking for fast rendering, getting the machine back up and running, when you're finished with uh, work, then this is a more, much more robust uh, machine. So that's pretty much it for the video guys. If you have any questions, you can always leave your comments down below. Thank you so much for watching.